Hey, YouTubers. So, I have a ramble right now, a big ass ramble like the big ass cigar. And essentially, this is about social media. So, everyone damn knows social media. Everyone damn well knows social media. So, I have obviously there's different types of social media like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, TikTok, etc., etc. And I have a YouTube account. I also have a Facebook account. I also have an Instagram account. This has to do with, in particular, Facebook and Instagram, and more specifically, spam or scams. More likely scams. So basically on Facebook and Instagram, I get bombarded, and I mean literally fucking bombarded with uh, scam links on Facebook and Instagram. Basically under my likely spam folder, I get bombarded with um, links to air quote 18 plus dating websites and air quote 18 plus porn websites. It's unbelievable how much spam I get. And you might say, well, Smoking Ass, see, that's nothing new. That's been a case since day one. My question is, my, my freaking question is, why am I getting all this spam? Now, the first thing that may come to mind is tracking cookies. Not cookies you eat, not damn cookies you eat, but tracking cookies. You might say, Smoking Essie, yes are you being a bad boy? Are you being a naughty boy? Are you spending your, your day on, you know, porn websites, etc.? And the answer is no. Absolutely, absolutely not. And I'm being 100% legitimate here. I was being a little bit silly ass like a big ass cigar earlier, but I'm being 100% legitimate. I don't look at porn. I haven't looked at porn for a long time. And I mean a damn long time. And obviously, there's a difference between going on an actual porn website versus being on like YouTube or Facebook, for example, and looking at something raunchy. So there's a big difference between you know, being on a, re a reliable website like YouTube or Facebook or Instagram versus being on an actual X-rated, you know, website. Because obviously there's a big difference, big fucking difference, because those websites, those bad websites, have lots and lots of tracking cookies. So that's the first thing that may come to mind is tracking cookies. And the answer is I haven't looked at porn for a long time, many, many years. Now, the second thing is, you might say, well, maybe it's because of your age, you know, you're in your 30s, you're in your 30s, and people just assume that people who are in their 20s and 30s, who are young adults, you know, air quote young adults, are interested in like 18 plus dating, and like 18 plus like porn websites, and like live sex cameras, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, maybe that's the case, and maybe that's why I get all this crap, all this freaking crap on my uh, email, or not my email, but my Instagram account, you know, my Instagram folder, and my, uh, you know, Facebook folder, spam folder, is because they kind of assume that people who are young adults, especially younger men, you know, people with a penis, a big ass penis, like the big ass cigar, are interested in, you know, a pecker, you know, are interested in like, you know, dating and like 18 plus porn websites. I don't know, it's weird as fuck, it's weird as hell. It's just weird. I'm not sure why the hell I get all those advertisements. And I've had on Instagram, for example, I've had different like bots, you know, like uh, spam bots or like catfish accounts, like add me to their groups and like their 18 plus like, you know, chat groups. And obviously I, I immediately deleted right off the bat, you know, immediately fucking deleted right off the bat. I immediately try to block as many people as I possibly can, but it's just weird. And I also get lots of like catfishing scams on Facebook, you know, that's nothing new. Like, you know, people saying, hey, you want to chat privately? You want to be my friend? Obviously, it's a bullshit scam. So anyway, give me your thoughts. Bye-bye.